are living one of the most authentic lives I've ever lived. I am here with Brooklyn Weatherall. Hi yes, guys. I invited a hot 20-something to be a podcast guest. How much self-confidence does that take on my part? <laughs> but this woman is such a girl boss. Okay, so we met a few different times along the way, Luxury World in Houston. Mm -hmm. You had moments of time working at the Oak Room, yeah. interacting with some of the biggest players in Houston and beyond that would come in and dine there and party there and do mm -hmm. things we cannot talk about on film. Right. And you cannot share. Maybe that's in your book in 20 years. I know, I know. And Documentary coming soon. Yes. And then you worked with Ben Berg mm -hmm. and his properties, and that's where we really collaborated. Yes. And you are exceptional to the extent that this does not come out of my mouth often, but you did what you said you were going to do and beyond. I mean, how many people, guys, can you say, Rob Cremosta, that's an idea for you. Do what you say you're going to do. Are you listening, babe? Thank you. <laughs> and then you did more. And then you'd show up and you were like, nice to me? What? This beautiful, smart woman who's nice to I think that's the thing that people are most surprised about you, but I know that's weird. I'm a lover. You are. I'm such a people person. You are. Anything with people. I mean, hospitality is in my blood. That will never, ever die. Because you grew up. I grew up in hospitality. You know, I started off um, at the St. Regis at age 18 as a wow. telephone operator. And not a lot of people know this, but I actually was a butler. For, oh, my God. I was a butler for Houston, like, like anyone in the hotel extreme you know they'd open the door and go hey butler can you come in my I room had the white, <laughs> I had the white gloves you know but that's, oh my God. that's really where I fell in love of course my niche of hospitality but also fashion being able to you know work and see these things firsthand that no one else can see you know I'm serving the finest so that was really kind of an awakening of like, oh my God, if I could incorporate hospitality and fashion and merge it yeah. and really create something, I'm like, I found my calling. Okay, so today we're at Saks Fifth Avenue. Yes. We are launching officially, because I've been talking about it for a few months, <laughs> but um, launching officially my collaboration with Saks as an affluencer. Yay. We're excited. But the whole thing is about collaboration. Correct. And I love working with people who are amazing women. Okay, so uh, Brittany is walking past, but she has been my girlfriend for a number of years and also my personal shopper at Saks. Yep. And so now I'm working in conjunction with her, but then also in conjunction with you to create even more style and fashion and luxury, but also to help people decipher it all because it's confusing. It's a lot. Like there's so much coming at us every day. You should buy this. This looks good on this 20 something girl, but I'm like, I'm short mm -hmm. and I'm 50 something. So what's going to look good on me? And that's what I love about pulling clothes with you. And today we've pulled this incredible collection yes. that is great looking, but really wearable. It's because wearable. That's what people struggle with mm -hmm. is they see it in a magazine, they more so see it Instagram. Worn, worn more so yes. one way, and they don't understand that they can incorporate that in, you know, making it their own style. And that's the goal with partnering with you and creating at Best by B, it's really having women break through those barriers that they too can be a part of these trends. What's you know the cycle, the constant cycle that we're seeing on social media, and really give them that self confidence that they still have it. They do. So they you still have it. met so many women yes. in these luxury environments. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the things that make you notice a woman? Is it just her clothes? Is it her attitude? Is it her skin because you also love cosmetics. I love skin. There's nothing better than a fresh face. Mm -hmm. You know, in order for you to your outfit to glow, you have to glow. Yep. You know, you wear the clothes, and I think that's.
that's really important and that's really an understatement. You know, a lot of people are like, Brooklyn, you never wear your hair down. Why is that? I'm like, because I want to show my face and I want to show my outfit. I was like, this is my trend. This is what I do. Um, but probably the first initial thing that I see within women is their shoes. Because you can be really... Oh, these are yes, yes. Okay, guys. Truth be told, living the authentic life, I have plantar fasciitis. <laughs> so I'm only wearing these to show you. They're the newest arrivals from Saks. And I think Rob would be so happy and for They're me to show so up at home fun. with these. But really, I'm wearing tennis shoes. <gasps> but are these to die for? I love them. Oh, my God. I love They're, them. But even as we age, we can use our shoes as artwork in our closet. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You can take something very classic, very elegant, and really give it that little zest of style and a little bit of you, whether it's a pop, it's, you know, it has the fur details, embroidered. Um, and that is my first mm -hmm. initial, like, all right, let, let's see it. Like, I know I want to go in your closet. You, uh, you are so welcome, girl. So my look is um, being short and, and being aging I like to cover my arms so I'm really big on the blazer and how we incorporate the blazer and one of the most interesting things that I want to start with is you said to put a blazer under a vest yeah I mean look at it? this come get it and show us so today you're rocking this gorgeous vest with jeans and pumps which it's perfect I mean it's incredible it's simple but um um, the preppy look, since I was born in the 80s and you were not. <laughs> This is so great. Come on in a little bit more and show it to the camera. Yeah, right over here. There you go. All right. So we've got a blazer underneath this incredible piece. Mm -hmm. And then the jeans are even exceptional. They've got this little slit in them, which I, know, I think is tried, super cool. We tried to mold Brooklyn today with the leather and the jeans. But this is just something that's really forgotten. You know, you have this knit vest, and you really need something to incorporate it. And you want that extra um. And especially during the fall seasons, I love a collar. I think it's very sophisticated, very sexy, and it it, it just shows you can like be a, the preppy collar right? like that. Can yes, we exactly. We should. And so that, this is one of the options. But then um, I love like we could also take even this vest or this. Um, blazer off and we can layer it and I wanted something basic to show people because I think it's important to go with basic. It's basics. not basic it's classic. Classic. It's a classic. Like this is the classic French girl look and you guys know I love my little berets. Exactly. Kiss. I know and Chanel she what a lot of people don't know is that she opened her first millinery store mm -hmm. in Duville outside of Paris which was on the ocean and she was inspired by the sailors wearing the stripes and that's where she came up with the sailor top but you've got this that you could also put underneath this great Balenciaga sweater mm -hmm. or do a classic but also add color and I think this is so interesting because sometimes I'm like I never would have put a do you call this periwinkle what are your, or maybe purple with these colors because it's kind of more autumn color tones here but I think it looks so good I think especially with women we get lost in the neutrals we you know as we age when we're older we need a little bit of color to pull out the skin tone the color of the hair the eyes and this really incorporates um, rejuvenation I say it gives you like a little life here we go I know but it's also comfortable on the top and I love this slit but it has the little skirt underneath it mm -hmm. and this is so um, so great that you could wear with tennis shoes but also we could boots. wear with where'd our boots go um, we've got lots of boots you could wear it with high boots you could wear it with tights and with mm -hmm. lower boots I think we've got these um, Valentino 
windows over here. And I think most importantly, the slit is really important in a woman's closet because, you know, sometimes with something overbearing, you will look very square and very structured and this kind of lets the body flow while wearing it. So it's, it's a really classic, well sophisticated and a little bit of, of sexiness while, while you're wearing it. So that's fine. And I think that's something with you is mm -hmm. that you are an attractive young woman and I noticed that you don't show a lot of decollete and a lot of leg all at the same time. And I'm trying to teach my daughter that. Like if you've got something that shows a lot here, then maybe you don't have it really short here, even mm -hmm. at 15. Mm -hmm. Do you have some rules on that? I mean, I think it all stems down to what do you want to show? You pick one thing a day, whether it's your arms, your face, your chest, and pick one, because everything can be overdone. So just really simplifying that and narrowing it down, I mean, yeah. I think it's so important. And then let's talk a little bit about like this whole, people say, oh, Danae, you probably wear Chanel all the time. But I'm actually buying like something like Alice and Olivia. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got to come back over to the center, Danette's telling us. And then you can do these incredible Chanel boots with it. Mm -hmm. And you've spent money on something that you can wear over and over and over, whereas maybe a dress cost per wear mm -hmm. isn't going to get you as much, especially if it's got this many patterns. And but I, it was interesting because you were showing me different ways to wear this dress. Mm -hmm. You were looking at turtlenecks. You want to grab one of the turtlenecks over there? And then we were even looking at maybe like a white blouse underneath it. I don't know if we have one so here. So you can incorporate, you know, if you're a woman that doesn't like to show her arms, we can incorporate the structure here and hiding that. But one of my favorites that Denae picked out today. Let me show you. Yes! This is probably our fan favorite for yes. today. We went ahead, we wanted to do a little set, but also incorporate a day to day with a little bit of lace, adding the lace collar for a little bit of zhuzh. And what we liked about this top is sometimes when I wear something with this much lace by my neck, if it's closed in the center, I feel like it's too much fabric by my face. Mm -hmm. So again, we're looking at opening this up, showing a little bit of neck, and then being able to cover the arms. And it's hot in Texas, even in December. How many times have y'all gone to buy a Christmas tree with your shorts on? So we're trying to find ways. Another way that um, I like to style these short sets is with tights. We love tights or the boots. Yep. Or you can do the high boots with it. The high boots Or you could really do even a contrast boot with it. There are mm -hmm. so many different options. Or you if you're going night. out into the evening, you can do a great heel with it. So I feel like this is really transitional and a good piece that you could pack because I'm always packing to go on a trip and I'm trying to figure out what I try to bring one jacket, one pair of tennis shoes, one pair of heels, and one um, one pair of boots. And most of the time I wear the boots on the plane. So because these would be hard boots to pack, but you could wear them on the plane, you could wear them with multiple things. Correct. If you didn't have plantar fasciitis like me, you could wear It'll those boots. It'll, get, It'll get better. Okay, but let's also talk about something really fabulous. We live in Texas, and I actually have, I just had one, and I have four more Texas black tie gala kind of feel. And so how do you embrace being a cowgirl and going to a cocktail party? If you live in Houston, that is a must. You have to be able to put on those heels and then those cowgirl boots. Yep. It is. It's for real. So Houston essential. The uh, very French cowboy Alexander McQueen. <laughs> we so thought fun. these were kind of Western, but also very high fashion if you wanted to transition back and forth and what would you pair these with Brooklyn so with that we put just something a little bit more fun um, and trending we wanted to add the Balenciaga sweater with the 
skirt. Yeah, and I mean, this is another Alexander McQueen that we I love. I'm obsessed with Alexander McQueen. My favorite. This is so gorgeous, but yeah. I would even wear that with black shorts and black cowboy boots and a black cowboy hat. So I don't feel like you have to wear everything Western to put on a no. hat and boots. And no. we've been seeing it even in LA and even in Italy sometimes. Mm -hmm. I see people wearing cowboy boots now. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this. Layering a sweater underneath a blouse? How incredible. Like, I don't really think of that. And I'm a little concerned sometimes about showing my belly and that's a perfect option. I love purple. I've been obsessed with purple this season. I think it is your color. It is. It's yeah. definitely one of my colors. And I think that's another thing is to find out what colors make you come alive. Mm -hmm. I did a color um, analysis and I'm a spring. So like this is not necessarily black's not supposed to be my color. And literally if I can have you, this suggestion for you guys, I take pictures of myself in something because sometimes I can look at my myself in the mirror and feel a certain way, but when I see myself in a picture, mm -hmm. I can see how much I light up. And I think that's a great suggestion. This is great. Yes. And look at these, like, I'm so short, I'm always turning up. But this is in style now? This is fun. What? This is so that's fabulous. That's a little bit more depth. I, this is handsome to me. I like this. I love it. Okay, but let's take this little vest off because you have to show what's so fun about this little turtleneck. Oh, Again, I'm not a big turtleneck person. I'm afraid of being hot, but look at this fabulous back on this. The back. Yeah, it's just a kind of a surprise that the back is open. And look, it, it comes down here. So ladies, not that I have back fat or know anybody that does, but it would cover the sides. <laughs> Less is more. Yeah, Bang. and I love that with lots of like pearls or your great Chanel necklace mm -hmm. or a great piece. I feel like you can wear a black turtleneck and go anywhere. Another thing is even, because I was talking about wearing white after um, Don't say I it. know. Do not. And bleep, beep that up, please. I know. We no. can wear white on the bottom after Labor Day. And um, and Jackie O, Jackie Onassis, Jackie Kennedy, whatever uh -huh. name she was at the time, apparently she wore a black turtleneck and white jeans in the snow in Colorado. And she looked beautiful. Do you do it? I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't I'm, do the white I'm pants. trying to do it. I don't, but I don't love white pants on me anyway. I don't. I okay, can't. but that's the other thing we want to tell people. Don't do something because we tell you to do it. Do not. Because it's all about your mojo and how you feel on what you put on. Yes. And I was, I work with a lot of different people to get ideas when I mm -hmm. shop here. I'm asking. Brittany, I'm working with you. I, I remember telling someone I'm going to the Una Note event and I'm wearing pink and she's like, oh, I don't know if you should wear pink there. And I'm like, no, but I love this. Let me show you. And I put it on and the way I lit up and she's like, yeah, girl, you can pull it off and it. you can wear it. So that's the other thing. Color is trending, color is trending on so many different things for fall. Do you wear color in the fall? I will wear pastels. Okay. Uh, I, the only kind of bold, but well, this is funny enough, the only bold colors I wear in the fall is probably like a neon yellow, a I good like laughing. Balenciaga bold highlighter moment. I think if you're going to do it, you got to do it bold. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about that because you said Balenciaga. So this Balenciaga sweater is more of a commitment financially. I believe it's like $1,400. Mm -hmm. But this is something that's going to stay in your wardrobe for so long. Mm -hmm. And again, me traveling so much, I like to bring a sweater or a jacket on every trip where I'm traveling. And I feel like you can wear just a basic black t-shirt or one with a little accent that you could get at a in a brand that's more cost effective. Yes. And that's a way you could transition through. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about these pants. Are they suede? So the pants are going to be suede. I think everyone, especially during the holidays, needs something with a little bit of texture. It really adds to the outfit, adds more depth, and honestly, it feels like pajamas. It does feel really comfortable. It's so comfortable. And I think it might even 
can be this, vegan suede this, because it feels really lightweight. This camel color is really something you can't go wrong with and mm -hmm. really looks good on any skin tone. Okay, so let's, on. let's come over to this incredible. So one of my girlfriends is having a um, boots and bling event again. Mm, you could do bling. this with western boots, I, but you could also wear it out New Year's Eve. We put this kind of western flair with it, but yes. I think you could even wear this in Colorado like or New York. Today. Uh, you could pull that off today. And some people are afraid to wear sequins during the day or afraid to wear tulle during the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I love it all. I can mix it all. I like the idea of denim with sequins and then tulle with sequins and denim. I think it all works. Would you even put this top with that tulle skirt there? I would. I think it's fun. I think it is fun too. So I think the other thing to consider is when you're adding pieces into your wardrobe and that's something, explain to people that you don't have to always be fancy to have a benefit of working with the stylist. Mm -mm. It's not that you have to be dressed up. So then, no. It's a way that you can look fabulous, even in comfortable clothes. Correct. Correct. So you go into someone's closet and what would you do? So first, you know, with uh, Best Buy B, I will... I will, is it, first we'll go ahead, organization. That mm -hmm. is the, there's three things that I will go ahead and narrow down. Organization, repurpose, and create. Once I hyper-focus on those three things, I'm able to really see the personality and how I can incorporate the style and really ask them, why do they want me here? Is it day-to-day -day pieces they need help with? Do Are they trying to expand and, and break through their barrier of what they see they want to incorporate and really get that little judge? So, And do you have them talk to you about styles they like or do you have them ask about like style icons? Because I feel like there's some days I feel like I want to be more like Jackie Kennedy's and there's other days I want to be more like Carrie Bradshaw. So Every I've, day we have a new mood. That is, that is a fact. And with fashion, you're able to kind of do both. You know, we should have different sections of our closet mm -hmm. based on our moods. Um, but really... You're able to identify, you know, what are their basics, what do they like, what's their comfort, um, comfort of their style, and then that will really kind of tell the story, and that's where the styling comes into play. So really picking up on key, um, key, uh, where, what is it? key accessories that they have, what their styles, what their color is, and kind of go from there. And so I find that being from Texas, it mm -hmm. is warm here often. All the time. So I really invest in cotton sundresses because it's something I can wear. You're a fan. Year round. Mm -hmm. And I love Dolce & Gabbana. And I think this is a great way that you've styled this with us with this lace underneath. Or you could put a blazer over it or you could even put a leather jacket over it and you could go from sandals in the summer to maybe a little booty even with mm -hmm. it in the fall when it's still 70 degrees outside. Things in your closet do not have to be forgotten. That is the one thing that me and Danae are twins about. You are able to wear many items throughout any season. You just, you have to layer it and you can incorporate it and find, you know, a lace fabric that's a little bit thicker it's a little bit more conservative and put it over a little summer dress with a booty and I love the leather and lace so can you get that um, that leather skirt from over there mm -hmm. yeah so um, I think even though that's basic we'll move these out of the way thank you Danette but we could even do these two pieces together and mm -hmm. then I love even in incorporating the, the black and white but I think a big part of everything Everything for me is about the belt. So will you go get the belt? I love this belt. I have it. I'm a wide belt girl too, but um, I feel like a lot of dresses come with belts, and I'm constantly taking the belt out of the dress and yeah, redoing this is fun. it. So Valentino, I'm a huge fan, especially of the PP Pink collection. But I think that these wide belts just change an entire Everything. look and feel and again I'm doing it over my blazer but um, look at what a bold 
look that creates it's a moment. It is a moment, and I think it's so great. Accessories can dress it up, mm -hmm. 100%. And then you can take this off, and you could even do. Um, other pieces, but will you show them the um, the Zimmerman dresses that we pulled? Yes. So this is another thing is um, I don't feel completely compelled to wear all the same brand. I know some people feel that way, but I feel like mixing. So like this Valentino belt actually blends well enough because remember the belt's going to be up here and the the boots are going to be lower, but it, and this is not even the same color as this. Oh, did I mess up my, can you still hear me? How's that? Look at me. I'm so uh, authentic. <laughs> you being all. But look at how um, just changing and adding this belt. Yeah, this is really pretty to this and with these colors. So how do you, like is it the undertone? Is there a color wheel that you look at? How do you help people figure out what colors go with what? I think it's more so the undertone. I mean, you just find it in the small details. You like can incorporate, this, yeah. you know, it's not such a bold blue. It's more of a pastel, which mm -hmm. tames it down. And then that way you can incorporate, like this, is, this isn't this is a bold, this is a burgundy. Mm -hmm. So you take things that are toned down, you can incorporate them. And for example, let me find, like this. You could incorporate this belt. Yeah, even though this is red and this is burgundy, they blend they together. They blend with the boots. So I think that that's something that I'm really trying hard to get out of that feeling that I'm locked in, that it has to be exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And I think you just kind of experiment with it. And again, looking in your mirror, taking a picture and seeing how it reads in a photograph, I think also is helpful. So initially, here, can we move this one over? Initially, when you pulled this, I was like, mm, I don't know if I love it. And I have to say, I love this. It is so amazing. The colors are so luxurious. And I would never think to put kind of this textured this camel coat fun. with this tulle skirt. And I think it's really With special. a pair of boots? Yes. Oops, I'm not it. getting it. See, I'm telling you guys, we're living the authentic life. Let me take this one off. And I don't feel, I, I, I notice that sometimes like not all neutrals work for me now that my hair is lighter. Can you help me with this? I'm not doing a good job. But I feel like you have to try things on and see how color reacts to, okay. like I feel like yeah. this um, camel has enough undertone in it to work for me. Or it doesn't um, yellow me out, whereas sometimes it does. You nope, want to do this a, is not, a black belt. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, perfect. This is fun. It is fun. Okay, so then when the sleeves don't necessarily, are you good about judging the sleeves? I love a good cuff sleeve. I know, and I love the neck. When you can roll up the neck and kind of, where you at? How about that? Better. And then a lot of it is how you push this through. How are we doing, Danette? I can't see it. Put towards the back, cup this. Mm -hmm. More? Oh, yeah. I think so. But anyway, it gives you an idea. But for me, I need to have the waist come in, mm -hmm. and that's really important to me. But I love the idea of layering it so much. And the other thing is we can start out in the morning, and it can be cool in Houston, or we can even go into air conditioning. And then when we're coming out... The Texas frostbite. The, yeah, it's just <laughs> such a huge amount of difference in a temperature that we're going from all these layers off. Mm -hmm. So let's let's look at this other blue kind of crushed velvet. Again, another great 
texture item that I thought was really fabulous to wear for um, country and western outings, but also I could see this at a party in LA. This would be party, you know, galas are around the corner, tis the season. And I think pants are appropriate at I galas. I am a sucker for pants. One thing about, I mean, mm -hmm. I will choose a timeless suit like this over a dress any day. I feel so powerful in it. And this is Sink Accept, so it, it's a, a brand with a good value, a good bang for the buck, and I think that these pants are actually even comfortable. <laughs> They're fun. They're super fun. And so what color top would you wear with it? Would you want it to be more neutral? So I would you want to pop a color? Do, I would do a bustier, to oh, be honest. Yes. So there, this is a lot of coverage, um, and we want to showcase the decollete. So I think mm -hmm. like a nice, sophisticated little bustier to highlight and accentuate like you being a powerhouse woman. I mean, that's what I would do. Okay, great. I think and anything, I might feel, and I do love a great corset top, but I also would feel comfortable just wearing a little um, silk blouse, like silk cami with it too. Anything that has a V so it doesn't yes, so lose the structure of the top. Because it's so much fabric, you need to have a little bit of neck showing. Mm -hmm. yep. And would you wear big jewelry or not because of all the sequins? I would wear... <laughs> Brooklyn earring. She would. I, would. I know, and she would look good. I would do it. She'd be so hot because you have your hair back. So the other thing is if you have your hair down, then I would balance it out with doing like little diamond studs because yep. then I think it's too much to have all Correct. this going on and all that. If you are someone like me that likes to take risks, pulling back the hair mm -hmm. will make you look timeless, clean, chic, well put together. I mean, I'm... Yeah, rock I love it. it. Rock it. Okay, so let's talk about, since we were saying this could go in Houston or in different cities, let's talk about a Montclair ski jacket because it is almost ski season again. We are actually going to Colorado for Thanksgiving, and that's only six weeks away. So me being Canadian, I live in this. Yes. Anytime I go home, this is my go-to 100%. It's I love so it. pretty. Oh, and that it's rose Oh, it's so I love it. sweet. And Montclair is such a great mm -hmm. brand. It's something that... It's um, breathable. Yes. The most important thing when you're traveling, especially when you're going somewhere cold, it's like frostbite and then you're inside in the cabin and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm t I have to take everything off. Yes. You know, so what I love about Montclair is that it's breathable, you can move in it, um, and it's gorgeous. So pretty. And it is an investment piece, but it's something that you can use for years to come. And I actually would see it worn over some day dresses and out in the evening. Because I, I think of it as being sporty, stylish mm -hmm. instead of... Sporty Bringing ski out the spice wear. Girls. Sporty spice is here. Sporty spice. Sporty I know Rob loves that. Is, oh okay, um. let's talk about another classic, Burberry. Yes. I never get tired of Burberry plaid. I mean, when Bella was little and she decided she didn't like Burberry plaid anymore, I was like, Did she what? Really? You love Burberry plaid. She's like, no, I don't. I'm like, no, but you do. So anyway, and now she's back to going, I can't believe I ever stopped not loving that. Mm -hmm. But it's so classic. I feel like it's good for little munchkins to my mom still wears Burberry. And I have one of the classic um, little light puffy. But this you paired in a really creative way by layering it with a sweater. We won't be wearing that in Houston today. No, but, but a broken dream. A exactly. Broken dream. And what I love about this piece is that it's um, a wrap. So you could even wear it um, over jeans too. Over jeans. Over nice, leggings. Nice little blazer if you want to do a day yeah, look. Yeah, I think sneakers, it's so cute. The boots. I keep going back to these. These might have to be in my closet. Oh, these are Rob. on sale, Rob. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's talk about some more basics. Can you pull out those darling 
um, commando tops that are just like the layering pieces. Because that's what I have on today. This is a bodysuit. And sometimes we forget to buy the basics. And we're like, I need just a white blouse. I need mm -hmm. just a black turtleneck. And these are good. I also like the idea of incorporating a sheer one of these into your wardrobe now. Tell us about some of these pieces. So I think the sheer is really important um, within the fall, especially with an everyday look. Just mm -hmm. putting this on with a pair of jeans, you like, it's, it's, it's perfect. Yep, and any of these jackets that you can add to it, it's a great look. Also, I love it. It shows the woman's curves and it really highlights it while making you structured and it keeps everything tight. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a couple years ago, no one would wear skinwear. And no. now it's, it's everywhere. Now it's everywhere where people incorporate it in just with their jeans and their tops. So that's really refreshing to see. And I think it really fits true to your body and you never can go wrong with a piece like this. Yes. And these are by Commando. So they're a good value for what mm -hmm. they are. And you can hand wash them. They don't have to go to the dry cleaners. It's vegan. It's not actually um, real leather. And then something I used to never do that now I just embraced is you might have seen it on my feed, but I bought these great pajamas and wore them at an incredible photo shoot at my dream suite at the Post Oak. Yes, Post Oak, you can grant me that dream suite whenever you want. We love collaborating oh with you. Oh, my goodness. But when you go on vacation with someone and you stay at their house or you're sharing a, a, um, a condo or a house mm -hmm. and you go down for breakfast, you want to look kind of cute. And these look kind of cute. And I think it's um, they're comfortable. They're not so they're just over $100. It also makes a great gift um, for someone without being too personable, uh, personal on what you buy them. I think it's another great piece. For sure. So um, super easy. So tell us um, about, um, how about this little jacket here? We haven't talked about her yet. So she's up and coming. <laughs> This is a piece that me and Danae pulled that we didn't know quite what to do with it, but we know. We know we love her. We love her. But so we one, thought, one stylist that I work with, she used to say texture, shine, um, shape, and I can't remember the last one. I'll have to think of it and post it. But what I love about this is it's just a little top that adds a little bit of something and it's reflection and it's the way that it reads as a color even though it's black. Mm -hmm. I mean what a good look. Wow. This. And then with these fun jeans I think it would be great or you know you could even pair it with something all black. You could even do it with the camel. With the or camel. This is cozy. This is just the get up and go and in Houston we love to eat so this covers up everything. <laughs> <laughs> I feel safe in this. I really do. It's this good. Good. And maybe even a little rain, we could pull that off. Rain or shine, I'm here. <laughs> exactly. We should okay. have got the rain boo. We should have got the rain boo. That's our okay. next one. Let's share more about the shoes. Okay, yes. so we didn't show the Bottegas with the wraparounds. So this was very clever of you. I always wanted to dance on toe and never did, but I always wanted to be the girl that would wrap her toe shoes up. And since I didn't get to have that moment, I guess I could have it with these Bottega shoes. You were mm -hmm. saying put the pants inside the shoe. So you'll wear the pants. Uh -huh. Okay. And then what you'll do is you'll take the cuffing of it and wrap it around and then pull it up so it gives it like this little mushroom effect. So it Super adds cool. another effect of detail to where if you want to spice it up with or without the jacket, it shows just a fun little flair where you don't look so straight and narrow, where it fits more so to your body type um, and, adds, and adds something. I love it. And tell us a little bit, so I being so short, mm -hmm. tend to go more for a platform. She loves her platform. I do, and now I'm not wearing my shoes because my foot was hurting. So how's that for living the authentic <laughs> life? But these, these would make me really tall. These are nice. So it's been a big trend this year to do these really high platforms. Mm -hmm. And I've had friends that have bought these Valentinos with these super high platforms, and they actually love them. They love and they them. said they're easy to walk in. I don't know if I could do it, but I love this color. You and I'm do anything. certainly a fan 
and a Valentino. I think those are pretty amazing. Let's do, are there any I other? Need, oh, another and then we've one. got these great cream. So, do you do cream boots? I love a cream. And would you do white boots? No. Not white boots. They will never see me in the white pants or the white boots. I can't do it. I think it's because I always wanted to be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. So I think that's why I want the uh, white boots. I'm like we living out that. sponsor. Go Cowboys. Exactly. <laughs> no, I love a good cream. I really uh -huh. think that this, you know, during the fall is a great pop. Um, and it's really clean. Yes. I love a clean aesthetic. So tell me about the pointed toe because I was looking at rounded toe. And I know I've talked to other stylists that have also recommended the pointed toe. The pointed so, toe just leans you out. It, it, it really accentuates the way the figure of the hips with the legs. Um, but also it really depends on the outfit. But to play it safe, you can never go wrong with a pointed toe. And like Danae said right here, this is going to be something where you necessarily would not wear it with jeans. Personally, it would be more structured with something that has more of a flare. Mm -hmm. um, something longer. Yeah, I would I more love it with this. Correct. Another thing, if you're wanting to incorporate something short with these boots, I do recommend um, tights. Mm -hmm. We could do uh, long and narrow leg warmers, something very unique, but we want to accentuate the woman's body and not have you look short and stout. And one of my style tips is I tend to want to go with a block heel because a lot of the places that I travel, like Colorado, mm -hmm. um, Vail Village, Beaver Creek, they have a lot of cobblestones in Europe. So I find that if I go with a really specific heel, I'm not saying that I won't buy them, but I just know that it's, I have to be more careful when I'm in those kind of places. I'm with you. I'm all for it. Yes. But I like this idea. These are more easy to wear if you have a bigger calf. Some women struggle with how this, um, how high a boot goes mm -hmm. and how it fits on their calf. So the good thing with these sock boots is how that works. Mm -hmm. But I think the reason I tend to go with leather is I have my, I'm really tough on my shoes and I'm really aggressive and I take them in and have them redone over and over and over. And when you go with the sock, sometimes you don't have that ability to have them redone as easily. Well, how about true. you? That's true. I mean, I can never go wrong. I stay true. So pretty. Okay, Got so what are you, one. you buying this fall? Have you made some commitments? You showed me some really fabulous pieces. I did. I've been getting in trouble lately. Um, That's the hard part about being in the fashion environment every day. That's what Danette said when she walked in. She's like, how are you not going to buy every one of those pieces? And I keep telling myself, I'm like, this is a one-shot piece. You're never going to see it again. And it just, the wound is still open. It's, yeah. Um, but the one thing that I have been really keeping my eye on is the jackets. Mm -hmm. I love something with a color. I love it with structure. Structure is my fall trend. Um, I think it really adds a different sense of detail and empowerment and I really kind of like the way I feel in it. So that's really like my fall go-to right now. Um, probably my favorite jacket that I just bought is a CGS jacket and it has little cherries on it and it's fun and it's flirty and as everyone you know the colder winter is a, like colder weather is around us I want to make like people smile and remember that fashion can still be fun while we're freezing. Oh so, I mm -hmm. love that. Mm -hmm. So how would people get in touch with you to set up a time to help you and what would your first meeting entail? So Abba, so the best way to reach me is through Instagram at Best by B. That initial introduction is where we'll go through and create um, what is the purpose of it and really kind of specify of what you're looking for for my services, whether it's day-to-day -day looks, if you're wanting to repurpose something, um, and really just kind of give you that sense of, of 
and you can be daring and take risks. I know for the longest time, I was very conservative. I dressed very simple, and then I played it down, and one day I woke up, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start to be me. And the feedback and the compliments that I was receiving, it was really kind of, mm-hmm. it was like, all right, you got it. And if I could give that to someone else and make them feel the way that I do, then that's all I could do. I love it. And it's not just women that you help style. It's guys. Not guys, too. Yeah, we didn't show any guy pieces. But I know, we will. So tell me a little bit, just like a few comments about men, because I know when I started getting pieces for Rob that were more mm-hmm. tailored and showed um, and weren't so baggy pleated old man I think pants. Men, I think men are more <laughs> difficult than women. You know, my boyfriend is like, I show him pieces every other day and he's like, no. He stays true to yeah. what he knows. He loves nothing with brands. Very sleek. Um, but it's, you know, I tried to do the, the short cuff of the pants. He uh-huh. was not having it. Um, but first it's really narrowed down guys are all about feeling and material so figure Mm -hmm. out what they like what feels good on their skin and then you can slowly reel them in so men take more men take time women we're a little bit easier we know what we want you can see it and we can love it yes whereas a guy's not gonna love it and the other thing is 20 times for them to like it versus a woman two three times okay we're in Um, but it's just that constant of of being being there and and showing them new ways to wear things Um, um, but you have to start with the small things. Yes. So is it a good pair of jeans, a nice pair of pants? It's a good pair. Of, it could be a scent. My first, um, the way that I will go ahead and try to alter a man's um, way of style is by a scent. Interesting. So the way that a man smells is the way he empowers himself. So if you change that, you change the mood, you change the presentation. Fascinating. Mm-hmm. Very good to know. So the other thing that um, I really notice with Rob and Bella is both of them run so hot that I can hardly she, ever get them in a sweater she was telling me that. or a jacket. Mm-hmm. So it really affects the way that they dress. So I think it's great to go with something like a lace or a vest instead of a big jacket. And, and, not, and also she used to buy things because I loved it and now she realizes that it's best to not just say she likes it. Thanks, so I think Mom. that's the thing, right? is that you're real open and honest about um, I think when you go in your closet look at what you're drawn to the most Mm -hmm. and I find that that's most helpful even though I help style other people but when different people come in my closet they can help me see things in a different way like I never would have put this sweater with this skirt and I love it and I love the way these tones work together and I love the way that goes together so I think it's it's great to shop your closet too and then see where you could maybe branch out. Everyone needs a fresh set of eyes. Like I said, we we love to see things and we love to incorporate them into our everyday, but not necessarily does it always work. So first you need to identify, am I wearing the clothes or is the clothes wearing me? That is the first question I always, I always ask. How do you feel? Do you feel overbearing? Do you feel swallowed? What's going on? Do you not feel secure? Um, so really narrowing down down what you like is really important and you know you can have these simple unique pieces and make it your own and really look like a fashionista okay and I will leave one parting comment from me about my best fashion advice yes and everyone that I work with knows this about me I don't know if Noreen's learned this yet but some days I will just dress up because I'm in a foul mood and I want to make myself feel feel better so I dress the part and then I feel better and I change the way I walk and I change the way I enter a room which then changes the way people respond to me Mm -hmm. so when we um, we had a pretty crazy situation we had a rabid bat crawl in our house in Colorado when Bella was six weeks old and we all had to go through rabies shots and I and we had to go through four rounds it wasn't the crazy thing in your stomach but we had to and they were she was the youngest child to ever get rabies shots at six weeks old like I called all these doctors and oh my 
goodness. My mother and Bella and I would dress up to go to the hospital. My mom's like, why are you dressing up? I'm like, because we're going to make a day of this, and we're going to make it an occasion, and we're going to look good while we do it. It's important. No, I agree. So anyway, that's my funny story about fashion. Do you have any parting comments to people? Stay trendy. Stay trendy. Stay trendy and be you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Wear what makes you feel good. Yeah, it's important. It's exactly. important. At the end of the day, you set the tone. You set the precedent. You walk out. Be you. And let the world know that you're here. That's what we do. I love it. Okay, everybody. Great, great. So fun. Yes. I think I'm going to hold these so I can oh, manifest wow, these. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>